Stock, Stock Shark Seed RT20 Plus. The lightest phone, all right? So let's do some normal phone, which I use. This one was the, the S21, I guess, plus. Don't even bother. <laughs> Come there. This is just epic. Do I have to start with this one? I mean, like, fuck it. Sorry, using my language. <laughs> the heaviest one. You know what? Hey guys, this is your boy Martin and today's video is about this. So of course we will talk about the weak, hmm, I'd rather call it a garbage shock seat for your RT20 Plus. So in case you do own an RT20 Plus or you're riding with a friend that owns RT20 Plus, especially those that have heated seats, the shock seats are just terrible. When you are refilling, it always bells down it's a super it's super annoying and uh we have three artists in the coolest tour and rental agency in the world that is based in europe and all of them are more or less the same and we have only one that can hold at least a lila but it will be in the in the same position after we will refill the bike for 50 times 60 times so what's the solution it's the aftermarket shock and for your imagination, at the moment, the, what you have there, it's like you have a Prima Ballerina holding it uh, because it can cope up with the shock, the existing shock can cope up with 2.6 kilograms, so something like 6 pounds. This one can cope up with almost 7 kilograms, which is 17 pounds, 2.5, 2.6 to almost 7 or 6 to 17 you have like hulk holding your seat now guys today's video how to super breeze installation and you will see actually how it works enough of this let's get started installation as i said breeze uh basically depends if you have a backrest or not you need to remove the backrest passenger seat in case you don't know how to remove passenger seat i have a separate video for that so just popping up right there now locate your shock to the seat and remove this bolt uh, manual to to the shock paper manual says it's a t20 all of my bikes has size 8 so of this so just remove it and once it's removed be careful of course because the seat will be not supported don't lose your bolt unhook it and open the seat now this part of the installation can be a little bit tricky uh, I can't show it to you because the space is really tiny so at least I will try to explain you the logic now this shock it's from it's a stock shock from top case I know I did the video how it works with the upgraded shock and all of these shocks seat shock for RT 20 plus or previous models top case shocks martin the vlogger.com slash shop now a little bit of promo how it works this is how you have the shock at the moment yeah you can see it on the video what I do I push the shock all the way behind the corner so I have as much space as possible to use my flat thin screwdriver in this case thinner but still longer it's better now on the bottom these shocks always work the same. There is a ball joint and you need to re release it. So you need to put your screwdriver into the area like this. There is a metal clip. I don't have it here because it's already released, but you need to go there and pop it out. It may require 
some patience and extra cursing, but that's it. Once you are on the edge, you can feel it, it's there. Work with me. There you go. Actually, as you can see, it stayed there, the metal clip. And what you only, only have to do, it's kind of tiny bit release it like this. Get, now, again, just a kind of demonstration or explanation because tiny space there, uh, and no point of recording it, but there is a boy joint, at least you can see that. And what you'll need to do, you need to slide in your brand new shark, aftermarket shark that you have hopefully bought on martinthevlogger.com slash shop. That's how you support me. And uh, you slide it in. Of course, this metal part stays on top. And what I do, I kind of like push it that way. Do not use screwdriver. Do not release the metal clip. Don't do that. But just kind of push it in that angle and it will Do it until it fully snaps in, until you cannot remove the shock. Now, of course, we need to put everything back together. So take your seat, your shock, your removed bolt, and just tie it. It's there. And by the way, have you seen I haven't touched the seat? because it holds on its place, holds on its place, holds on its place. Ah! <laughs> holds on its place. Look at that. Actually, it's, I will complain now, it's a little bit tough. <laughs> I really have a great mood. Cause it was so fucking annoying. Now it's so great. Epic! No, don't ask me why it is like this on 30k plus bike. But this is how I make a living. Always honest. Always honest. Now of course you need to put all the things back together. Not important. Have a look at this absolutely fabulous it made my day honestly it made my day and we will install these shocks on every single rt20 plus that we have in our touring rental agency so what kind of more proof you need apart from this and apart from me investing extra money to our rental bikes i just simply believe in products that i do sell always be honest and guys tourson3.com we have just released ultra cool tour in Slovakia. Many of you don't know Slovakia. It's a beautiful country. No, we have already cars, we have electricity, we have Wi-Fi, we have four-star resorts, widening roads, amazing food, a lot of history. Eight-day tour, we have still tickets left. So write me to info at tourism3.com or simply go on the martindelogger.com slash shop and check out what we offer. It's eight day amazing trip. Guys, thank you very much for watching. And remember, buy yourself seat shock or top case shock or not, it's your own call, but always have fun.